Okay, three years ago, I bought this Castle Serenity for 800 bucks. And that was a pretty good deal, I thought. So I installed it in our sunroom, which gets really cold in the winter. And uh, it's, I just cleaned it. The first time I've done the thorough cleaning where I took off the side panels and removed the mower, or the motor, and uh, cleaned out all the piping. Used a brush on the end of a, a rod that goes in my power drill and really cleaned it out thoroughly. And now I'm gonna monitor how it starts up and how much it's drawing at all the different stages of startup. So right now, it's drawing 1.2, 1 1.13, 1 1.12 watts. Let's see what that looks like for the, and it's drawing 15 milliamps. That's milliamps, not amps. 123 volts. All right, so uh, let's start it up and see what happens. And now the watts immediately jump to 509. And let's monitor that a little bit close. Okay, there we go, 504. And that, that big jump in the watts is because it's running the uh, igniter. And if we, let's see what we got here, go down. It's still only pulling 4.1 amps, so it's, it's not high current. Not too bad, and it's, um, but it's enough to make that heater element start start the uh, the, the pellets. Now I expect these values to drop. This four ninety, this four hundred ninety five is now. And it's interesting how that's dropping a little bit. But those watts um, will drop up significantly once the pellet stove uh, is ignited, once the, the flame starts. Uh, the igniter will turn off, and then the only draw will be the blowers. And the auger. Occasionally the auger turns. Okay, the auger's running now too, I can hear it. It's dropping pellets into the burn pot. All right, so I'm gonna, we'll come back here and check this after it starts to, once it ignites. So the, the watts are up to like 500, alternating between about 490 up to 512. And that seems to coincide with the uh, auger uh, cutting in and out. It doesn't run continuously as it feeds the pellets into the, into the burn pot. But the, it sustains about 498 and above uh, because the igniter is still continuously on right now. Starting to see some sparks. Occasionally getting some sparks in here. And there's smoke. So this is about to ignite. Let's see what happens. I just cleaned out the all the plumbing through the flue vent from the back of the stove all the way to the end of the flue vent. And we'll see if uh, it, it produces less smoke in this burn pot area. I could tell something wasn't flowing as well as normally because it got completely filled with smoke inside here, and that doesn't happen uh, when it's got good airflow. It'll get a bit smoky, but right, right, you know, right now it's not as bad as it was before, but it'll, it'll ignite soon and all that smoke will go away. It's starting, I can hear it. Oh. And then the smoke clears out really quickly once the flame ignites. And back here it's still 498. 
So the igniter is still on. The only blower running is this one down here. This blower motor here is the exhaust blower. It's literally sucking air through the stove. Like it's called a blower, but it's blowing to the outside. But it draws the air in through the stove. There's a down in the bottom of the burn pot down there. I don't know if you can even see it, but it's down in the bottom there. That's where you might see those sparks flying into it. That's the air is being pulled through the stove there. But where's the air coming from that's getting drawn into the stove? That's coming in on the other side over here through this pipe that you see in the back with the foil wrap. And that's my outside inlet. So the air that's going through for combustion is not from inside the house, it's from outside. And that prevents any pressure differences, it doesn't suck air out of the house, which would then draw in drafts from outside. So this is completely isolated from the interior environment for combustion so that we don't create drafts. Feel the heat getting pretty warm on the side here. Don't want to touch that. All the creeks are just expansion. It's normal. Yeah, it's definitely performing a little better. That ignited quicker, it cleared the smoke out quicker. It's breathing easier. Still, it's still in igniter mode because the volts, I'm sorry, the, the watts are still 495, 500. So the igniter is still on. What'll happen is a thermostat down here in the back, this thermostat right here, it's like there's two mounted in here in case one fails, but this thermostat is measuring the temperature of the exhaust gases. And when it reaches a certain level that indicates the stove is at hot operating temperature, then this blower right here that looks like a scroll, put a light on that, then this blower right here that looks like a scroll will turn on and that will, there it goes, it just started. And that's now gonna blow the air out here. And now I feel warm air coming out of the front of the stove. And at the same moment that that started to blow, back here, let's see. Yep, now we're down to only 55, 63, 48. Okay, so when it says about 47 or so, that's gonna be when it's just 55, you know, the auger's running. And then when the auger stops, the, the auger runs for only about a, two or three seconds, or maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit longer. But it runs for a very short amount of time. So this is gonna jump up and down between about 47 and 53, or up to 60. And the little spikes up to like 60 watts, those are, when it jumps up to 60, that's the auger probably running like that right there and then when it drops down to 47 that's just the blowers so when it's just burning the igniter goes off the stove pulls between 40 and 60 uh, or it runs on 40 to 60 watts when it's running which is not bad it's like a small it's a typical light bulb Here we go. And that's what it'll do all day long. I can't open this up for very long because it's vacuum sensitive, but it's got a 40 pound bag of pellets in it and it will last about um, 16 hours or so on low. All right, that's it. The pellet, castle pellet stove, fully tuned up doing well.